Striker. Okay, so years ago when I used to play, I had to get my guitar set up. You know, so I'd get them set up every whatever six months or a year. Okay. So I found out who like the best guy in the city is. Oh, that doesn't surprise me at all. And they said, you gotta go to Norio. Everyone, three people were like, Norio, Norio, Norio. Oh, well, so you've actually been to this guy before? Yeah, yeah, but I haven't been there in like ten, literally. Because you had stopped playing. For I have a not while. been here in like eleven years. Are you still in the same exact spot? Oh, that's awesome. That's nice to think that he like survived. Yeah. Here's the door. So I, I brought my guitar. I don't play a lot and the bass I just got because I realized I was going to miss playing guitar. Oh, it's right here. There we go. Both need set up. This is brand new. Okay. How you been, man? I'm good. The neck is, uh... Yeah, the neck is a little off. Yeah. So like, just the action is as like, low as humanly possible. Okay. I do have like an Ibanez hollow body that I'm gonna bring when I pick this one up that I, I, don't, I don't even know what's, if there's anything wrong with it, but if there is, you'll have to kind of like do an assessment because that hasn't been set up in like forever. <laughs> this is the new one. Okay. Uh... And then if we could do like, um, like the, you know, the wrapped strings. Black ones. Oh, black flat ones? Yeah. I mean, I haven't played for like, I stopped playing for like 10 years, you know, with kids and work. I mean, I would noodle a little bit, but I started during quarantine, man. I started getting really back into it. So, so I started, I just got like a, a this bass I got, I got another guitar, which hasn't come yet. Oh, that's a way too It's so high, yeah. What? Yeah. I mean, I don't mind, the gauge is fine. It's just that it's hard to play, you know, when you get down, when you get to the higher, you know, notes. I think they're fine. If you think they're fine, they're fine by me. As long as the action could be like real low to do the frets and the setup and everything, yes. let's just do it. I mean, I wanted the action like as low as humanly possible. Okay, yeah, after this, yeah, I can do more. Thanks, my man. I appreciate you. Take care, Naria. Good to see you, man. So like the, the action, that's what like how high the strings are off the fretboard. If the action is very high, it's, you know, it's just harder to press down and hit the notes. So I like my action as low as humanly possible. But sometimes in order to do that, you have to shave the frets down. The frets are like those little metal bars, you know, so otherwise it'll rattle when you play. So the question was, he was like, well, I can change the strings. I'll leave the frets as they are. And then if you don't like it, then bring it back. But like, I know what I like, so. I said, just, just do it then. Just get it done. And then, yeah. And then I have two more guitars I want to break. But I think these are. Yeah, yeah. Like he's a legend, man. You saw the picture of Keith Richards. Like he's, a, he's on everybody's guitars. He's the, he's the guy. Not exactly. I, was like, I, was like, I like it as low as possible. Just do whatever you need to do to make it as low as possible. Shaving the frets, whatever. I was like, I was like is it like is it advisable to do that? And he's like, well, it's the cost. It's like, I don't care. Don't worry about that. Just get it, make it perfect. <laughs>